What's up, my people? It's me. So, I'm recording. I don't even know how I'm recording. I don't know what it look like. It's not my roommate. No, it's not. I don't even know what I'm recording, what I look like right now. Hopefully, it's recording the, light, the right way because I can't find my tripod. So, yeah, I'm sorry for, like, the wait, I guess. But here I am in my barracks. My side is this side. This is her side. I don't want to get into details. But yeah, today I'm going to be talking about my boot camp experience. And while I talk, I'm going to be looking at this. This was my boot camp diary. Back here is where I took people's numbers. And so yeah. First of all, when I first got there, it already went off in the wrong foot. Like everything was super bad. Like, P days, I hated it. Especially the first two days where we didn't get any sleep. It was super bad. And then I had my first experience with my RDC. I'm not going to say her name till the end. But, yeah. Um, we couldn't sleep. They didn't let us go to sleep for, like, I don't know why. Like, there was no reason for us to not be able to sleep if we weren't going to do anything. We were just waiting on papers and stuff. So, I'm over here sitting on my desk. Because it's like they line it up in desks. And um, I start drawing on my paper instead of like studying. Cause I feel like if I just sit there and read, um, I was like gonna go to sleep. So I start drawing. And then out of the nowhere, Chief just like comes up to me. And she's like, Almonte. So I'm looking up and I look up at her. Like you can see where I stopped my zigzag. And she was like, what the fuck are you doing? You're fucking doodling. And then my RDC comes over and she takes my desk with all my papers in it and she throws it across the room. And then she proceeds to tell me to go get the desk. Mind you, the whole room is filled with new recruits and everything. So that was my welcome in a boot camp. After that, my RDC hated me for the rest of her life. For the rest of basically boot camp. Yeah, it was fucking horrible. So that was my boot camp experience when I first got there. Let me see, I wrote stuff down on my diary. We gonna go off based off my diary. Actually, we gonna read it. I got there the 18th and my first entry was on the 19th. So let's read it, it said, hey guys, what's up? So today is the day we finally get some sleep. I've been living off three hours of sleep these past 42 hours. I'm so mad because we literally have nothing to do, yet the RDCs don't let us even close our eyes other than that. The food has been pretty good, but the portions are too small. They literally, then, literally two hours later, I'm back hungry. The PT gear is really cute. We got a whole sweatsuit. Bro, I got tired of that sweatsuit at one point. I haven't been outside to really feel the temperature, but there's a little bit of snow. If only I fucking knew that shit was gonna get freezing. The 10-week countdown starts Friday. Hopefully, I'm not ready for all these shots. Then that same night, I said, hopefully, I don't get washed today. I just want to sleep. p they start Friday. Finally, and after 10 weeks, I will start counting. Oops, I forgot I wrote that earlier. That's how fucking tired I was. When was the next time? Okay, I wrote one Thursday, too. Let's go. Today has been regular. I finally got some sleep, and that helped a lot. We also got the rest of our division. Only females for now. And guess what? My friend Mara is in my division. Bro, at, at the end of boot camp, we stopped being friends. So I don't even know why I mentioned her here. Um, we got the same, oh uh, yeah, we were in the same station. So we got some girls that had to be held back and they told us everything that's on the initial written test. I was grateful for that. I still didn't get ranked up because of that test. So fuck that and them. Um, I have yet to get watched, but I'm glad because I like sleeping. The food was okay. I guess I liked it because I was hungry. Also, shh, but I've been sneaking snacks back from Chow because I really be hungry. Hopefully, it doesn't catch up to me. Division 1 to 8 went from 17 females to 36 females today. Quarantine changed from 14 days to 10 days if you're unvaxxed. And if you are, it's only 5 days if you get exposed to COVID. 
And I remember that day. Because later on, that shit's going to get wicked, baby. When I snuck chow in. Okay, so... I'm going to have to take breaks, I guess. Basically, March 22nd. I wrote that, um, what, January 20th? March 22nd, I said it caught up to me. Let me tell y'all the story of that. Well, basically, I got caught eating a Nutri-Grain bar in the head. And they basically beat everybody else. Like, they put me in the middle of the room. They sat me. And they made everybody do push-ups. They pulled the blue card on everybody. And every time they came up, they had to say thank you, on Monte, instead of one cheap, two cheap. Which was fucking, like, I cried my heart out. I freaking cried my heart out. Like, that was so traumatic to me. So, yeah. Oh, for the swimmers? Um, I learned how to swim in one day. Super easy. Don't be scared. They did throw me off the thing that first time, even though I didn't know how to swim because they have to do it. I mean, they have divers at the bottom of the pool waiting for you because you're going to drown because you can't swim. And that's what happened to me. So, yeah, they threw me off. The fall felt like... It felt slow, but fast at the same time. It was scary. So yeah, the next time I went to try it out, I passed. So I wasn't really, I wasn't a, a swimmer with a lot of other people that were like swimmers for a long time. Swim, we call swimmers the people that don't pass swim the first time. So yeah, the next time I went over there to try it, I passed. And then the next day I had to do um, abandoned ship and that was super easy because you basically have to jump again, but you have a life jacket on. So that was easier. Now, let me see. Oh, yeah. Um, we got a dialysis and everything done. Um, my blood, they found my blood type was rare. I have AB negative, I think, or AB positive. I don't remember. But yeah, they had to take more blood the next day. And I actually almost passed out. And then um, uh, they sent me to get some x-rays done. I really thought I was going to get asthma. But yeah, they sent me to get some x-rays done because I had low bone density, apparently. So yeah, that's it. I know I, I like when I first seen medical, like because I seen videos and everything. I'm like, I'm never going to medical, blah, blah, blah. That's a lie. My first day I got SIQ, I slept like a baby. And like after that, I just kept going LD, SIQ. And I promise you, like, it was the best thing that freaking happened to me. If, like, come on. Let me see. Oh, yeah, I'm basically complaining about my RDC because she fucking hated me. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that butt shot. My ass fucking hurt for like three days straight. Like, and when they put it in, like, I wiggled. And, like, the needle, like, you could feel it going in because it's so thick. Like, the peanut butter shot was freaking horrible. Friday the 4th. So, February 4th was the first day we got our mail. I wanted to fucking cry because when they were calling people's name out, they kept saying, Almonte, Almonte. I had got at least 20 letters that day. And I was just bawling my eyes out. And then there was my freaking sister, Div RDC. She was in the corner hating, like looking at me some type of way because they didn't like me. They did not like me. And I didn't give them a reason to not like me. So, yeah. Battle stations was okay. Y'all be ready for it if you're going to. Um, I got injured on the RDC assessment, but I never told anybody. So yeah, I ran my last PFA um, on bad legs, but I passed. When everybody passed the PFA, everybody started crying because that's when you know you're graduating. You're done with that shit. That's it. My boots, I wore them out in like two weeks. So that was good. Let me see. Okay, so this one's funny. So this is uh, March the 7th. So it's like 8 a.m. I'm in medical trying to get LD. Told y'all. I'm just tired of standing. I'm just tired of standing so damn much. I don't want to do the line handling. I'm nervous for battle stations. I sent an invitation to my boyfriend and my co-worker to my graduation. Lee. Hopefully at least one of them come. And then at night, I wrote, okay, so update. My division got the lowest score in the whole training group for line handling. 
And then somebody snitched on me for eating Nutrigrain bars in the head. So they sat me down and I explained to y'all what happened. So yeah, that was freaking hilarious. And then the eighth, I said, so I'm so fucking pissed. Motherfucker said my rack was fucked up and reported me, but the whole time I ain't touched shit. Since the last time the other section leader helped me fix it. Like, get the fuck out, bro. I got a 4.3 on my academic test, by the way. Apparently the female 127 chief wants to talk to me and Lord knows why. She better not come at me with no BS. Later on that day, so it was BS, LMAO. They beat me so bad and I'm class writing. I don't want to fall asleep. I'm still cold. I fell, I basically fell asleep while I was writing that. Mm-hmm. The next day, my whole body sore because they decided I was going to get the blue card twice by my RDCs and then get beat by the LCPO. So that happened because I was like talking in the hallway with somebody else that got asthma. So yeah, I got beat twice that day and then by the ship's LCPO. I was in ship 10, by the way. What was the name of my ship? I don't even remember. I don't even remember, it was ship 10. I don't even remember, I'll, I'll think about it one day. And then March 15, so what's up, y'all? We got battle stations. I'm a little nervous. Um, bro, I had watch before and after battle stations. And then there was this thing called a sleep chit that you could have had. Like, if you had watch before battle stations, you couldn't have watch after. But apparently, I didn't know. My RDCs didn't let me know because they didn't fucking like me. So all, all the other people got sleep chits and I didn't. I was so pissed. And then the 18th, March 18th, that's says, why I passed battle stations or whatever. I might get the blue card twice because when I came back from Chow, <laughs> oh, that was hilarious. That same day on battle stations, we came back from Chow and I went to the fucking head and I knocked the hell out. And then my chief, not my chief, 127 chief, and then my uh, petty officer, they both come in and they're sitting right next to us while we're knocked the fuck out. And then the chief, she's like, Almonte, wake up super nicely. And I mind you, I don't know who it is. And I'm, I'm fucking tired. I look at her and I go back to sleep, bro. She was like, Almonte, wake the fuck up. So I got up and I was crying and she was like, what the fuck are you doing? And I wanted to explain, but I was so sleepy. And she's like, no, shut up. I don't want to hear it. So yeah, after that, they made me stand in parade rest for two hours parade rest for two fucking hours bro <sighs> yeah oh we also got a couple calls we got extra calls i was super happy my first call i cried like a bitch i wanted to get out i wanted to get out so bad okay the march 20th i was like we about to hit single digit countdown i wanted to cry but yeah i wanted to get siq so bad again uh, and then March 23rd, I said, I'm so worried about my legs. My shin splints hurt so bad. I still want to keep a positive mind because my parents are coming Wednesday. So I'm going to pass this BFA regardless. I know I got this. I'm just going to wear my bandages and call it a day. None of the females got a question hit on our final, so we're getting a phone call. Yay. So we did our weigh-in, and I was 111 uh, pounds and 63 inches. Uh, we did a mock BFA, and I passed. I better get it Monday because my mom and bestie are coming Tuesday. This is like my white bestie. But my boyfriend came too, bro. Like, they all showed out and they came. Yeah. And then March 29th, that was the day of the PFA. And I said, so I passed, of course. My legs hurt like a motherfucker. I'm, I'm kind of sad I leave Saturday, though. I'm sorry to see my family. I luckily, I low-key want to go to the computer lab. I'm so mad if motherfuckers keep posting on my page, bro. People kept posting on my page. I'm not even going to go deep into that because I was pissed. Um, And then March 30th, forgot to tell y'all Mara is a op. Bro, I, I told y'all I wasn't going to be friends with her in the end of boot camp. Forgot to tell you Mara was a op and Bernabelle too. Me and she was an asthma in. But I don't know why I called her up though. I have a whole list, but fuck it. We got two days left. I seem to get along with the Asmos more, and I genuinely sad a lot of them didn't pass. I think I'm actually missed them. That was my last uh, entry, and that was March 30th, and I graduated April 1st. So yeah, 
Um, we had a lot of sad moments where I cried. I cried when one of my friends got asthma. Her name was Mango. We love Mango. Freaking, I cried when... Who I got asthma to? I forgot their names. But I cried when Baines got asthma. Freaking more. No, more passed. No, she failed. No, she passed. I don't even remember. Reeves. I cried when Reeves didn't pass. It was super sad. Um, Let me see what else I got here. Oh, on my freaking... I hope she, um, I think she got sent home though. Suwali graduated, but with another division. A lot of people graduated, but with other people, with other divisions. And it really hurt. Freaking Patterson. I started liking her at first. And then throughout the whole bootcamp, I fucking hated her. And then in the end, I kind of liked her. Cause she always thought she was the boss. Like what the fuck is wrong with him? Like with her, like, please. Freaking, uh, freaking love for Copio. Mon Dragon, that's my friend. Tarin, we like her. Lemus, we love Lemus. Ruiz. They were all super nice. So, I fucking hated boot camp. Would not recommend. If it's one tip I'm going to give you, you better be able to pass that run and pass the swim. Because those are the major things that are going to get you ass mode. So, thank you for watching my uh, overview on boot camp. If y'all want me to go specific about, like, very specific about anything just make sure y'all leave that in the comments so i can do a video when i have my free time so thank you guys for watching and um like comment and subscribe uh this is your first video of me i guess hi i'm ariel i guess that's kind of late but yeah i'm in the navy and i'm in school for a mass communication specialist so if y'all have any questions about that too just comment all right. Bye, guys.